Hello and welcome to Hardware Learning, where we look stupid so you don't have to. Today we are doing front brake pads and rotors on this 2010 Chevy Cobalt. Really straightforward process. We'll jack the car up, throw a jack under the subframe, we'll get this wheel off, and we'll be on our way. Wheel lugs are 19 millimeters on this car. First thing you're going to want to draw your attention to is these uh, brake slides. They are 14 millimeters here and here. We'll get the caliper pulled off and set aside. We can pull the pads out and then we can take the uh, caliper mounting bracket off to get the rotor off. So those 14 millimeter bolts right here. Hang it up on the uh, strut. Pop our brake pads out. And as you can see, this, this pad actually cracked, which could explain why we're hearing a lot of bad noises. <clears throat> and they are very worn. So those are garbage. Second order of business, these caliper bracket bolts, 15 millimeters. Now, we should be able to remove this rotor. Might take a few whacks with the mallet. Now the caliper guides, we're gonna wanna brush those off, pull our pins out, our slides, and re-grease these. These actually look pretty decent, surprisingly. Clean those up so that they move nice and freely. Take the old slides out, because your kit should come with new slides. Clean up the guide, put your fresh rotor on, and torque up all the bolts. One final thing, you're going to have to compress this caliper. You can rent a tool that'll compress the caliper. Fortunately, this one doesn't need to be rotated and pressed. Those, you kind of need the tool, but I don't have one of those tools. You can rent them from free, free from like an O'Reilly's or an Advanced Auto. I just put a brake pad back on and clamp it like this, which they put their brake line in kind of a curious locale back down to fit the fresh brake pads into there. They will have significantly more material on them. No one seems to want to provide uh, clips anymore with their pads, so we're going to restore the ones that were on the car. Just clean up as much of the rust as we can off of them. Alright, then we can pull our glides out, slides out, clean those off and re-grease them. Grease the crap out of those, put those back in. Now we can put our rotor back on the car and then get this mounting bracket back on. All right, so we're gonna set our bracket and slides aside. Our pads, I'm gonna clean the rotor quick. They get shipped with grease on them so that they don't rust in transit. Clean the other side off. I like to run the uh, Painted center. I run ones that look very similar on the Miata. Just helps them from getting corroded in the middle. So now we can throw our bracket back in with those 15s. Throw our clips back in. Take our C clamp off, old pad out, replace our pads. Grease up the ear a little bit so they slide nicely. And also grease up the back so that they don't corrode onto the caliper. Try not to get your grease on the, uh, the rotor or the friction material of the pad. All right. Wipe off your hands. Get our 14s back in. And you have completed a brake job on your 2010 Chevy Cobalt or similar year. And there you have it. 
Pads and rotors for a 2010 Chevy Cobalt. All you need is a 14 millimeter, 15 millimeter flathead screwdriver, a caliper press or a uh, clamp, a knife maybe, 19 millimeter for the wheels. You're good as gold.